Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante and we're live from Frankfurt. This is HP Discover and this is theCUBE, SiliconANGLE's continuous coverage of HP Discover. We extract the signal from the noise, we bring you the smartest people that we can find, we cover these events wall to wall. Check out siliconangle.com. It's, it's the blog where we really have a river of content that flows every day, trying to really give you the best information that's current, the news, the analysis, the opinion. Also check out wikibon.org where peers go, they collaborate, they share ideas, and we just released some uh, information, a new report on software-led infrastructure, check that out. I'm here with my co-host. John Furrier. And John is, <laughs> and I have been going all day, we're going to be here all week, and we're here with Matthew Morgan, who is the Vice President of Product Marketing for HP Software. Matthew, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thank you for having me. Good to see you, this is your big event. Um, a lot going on in, in your world, uh, IT guys under pressure, they want machines to do things for them, they want automation. Um, what are you guys doing to help? So we've made a, a few announcements at the show this week, and these announcements have been focused on improving the ability for IT professionals to make better use of cloud-based infrastructures. And one of the technologies that we've announced and have released is Business Service Management 9.2. This technology, in a nutshell, provides the ultimate control panel for the operations professional. It gives them the ability to monitor all points of risk throughout an operational environment, whether it's a public cloud or private cloud. It gives them the capability to correlate any end user issue directly to the cause of the problem, and it allows them to do this in real time. So, that's the key. It allows you to do this in real time. So you're talking about essentially operational analytics in real time. You think about the way this has been done in the past, it wasn't real time. Can you take us back 10 years? And, and talk about how we, we approach this problem then and how it's changed now? It's great that you mentioned operational analytics. This is a true breakthrough in terms of how an operations manager can manage a virtual infrastructure. So let's go back 10 years and talk about what the application world looked like from a production perspective. It used to be very simple. If I built a new application, I would simply procure the hardware, the server that I would need, I would buy the right amount of CPU utilization that would support my application, I would buy the right application server software and I would have a physical device that I would put on my network that would be the actual host of my application. An operations manager would then wrap that physical device with appropriate monitors so that they're in a position where they can ensure that the box was running, that the application server was running, and that the end user was being satisfied. If you fast forward to today's world where we're dealing with potentially thousands of virtual machines all running concurrently, some of these virtual machines are on premise. Many of these virtual machines are in the public, public cloud. It becomes almost impossible to proactively set up monitoring apparatus to be able to understand all the dynamics of the environment. If you think about what the cloud offers, it abstracts resource availability away from the need to manage it. Supposedly, the cloud will scale up dynamically, we call it elasticity, to ensure that the end user gets the response time that they need. However, when you're dealing, again, with thousands of virtual machines, it becomes impossible for an operations manager to be able to monitor that without a breakthrough. Yeah, so you've got all kinds of problems in cloud um, and virtualization, you know, noisy neighbor as an example, and people you know, pulling for different resources. So, um, talk about how the system works. So you're essentially sucking in what I'll call you know, real time or even might, might even call it transactional data and then feeding the operational analytics system um, in real time so that machines can make decisions for me. Is that, am I getting this right? You're getting some of it right. Okay, so, so the operational, the absolutely, the operational analytics piece is about monitoring for unknown issues. And this becomes a big data problem. When you start moving from monitoring proactively for elements like CPU utilization, network utilization capabilities, to monitoring for unknown issues, you are shifting to having to analyze log information. Now, HP has award-winning log analytic technology in a product called Logger, L-O-G-G-E-R. The technology in Logger came from ArcSight, which is the market leader in proactive security monitoring. Logger has the capability to monitor all log files, whether it's an application server log file, a database server log file, or the physical machine, the operating system log file. 
But more importantly, Logger has the ability to correlate elements that might happen. So let me back up and talk about my virtual environment for a second. Like I mentioned earlier, in the new world, when you're managing cloud-based resources, an operations manager has to be in a position where they manage all of these virtual machines concurrently, they have to manage all of these application server stacks, and they need to do it concurrently. So with a log analytic capability, which is operational analytics, we do that in real time. And we give you the capability to correlate issues back to the end user. So when something occurs, and an issue may exist on a certain virtual machines, you'll be able to understand why and where that issue is. Does that, that make sense? Yeah, it does. Yeah, no, I want to, this is really, we've been just talking about this earlier about uh, hypervisor, for example, right. uh, having yeah. agnostic hypervisor. One of the big uh, challenges right now with cloud is, IT needs to have rapid, agile capabilities. And uh, having hypervisor agnostic is a key thing. And the tools to make that happen are, are, are in high demand. And what's your guys' take on that? Because that seems to be something that people want more of in the cloud. Hey, I want to move a, move a virtual machine over here into a public cloud or a hybrid cloud. I don't want to have to get the lock-in spec of say, like we call it the Word document problem. It only runs on Service Pack 2. We want to be able to move, move stuff around. How are you guys looking at that challenge uh, and the tools available to do that? Well, John, you know, what you just articulated is the typical scenario that our customers that are embracing cloud technologies are dealing with every day. This idea of a heterogeneous support structure that will support all hypervisors and do so concurrently and be able to control ramp ups and ramp downs of virtual machines that are dynamically allocated becomes a key monitoring challenge for the operational professional. HP's point of view is that this environment is the norm you have to have a heterogeneous approach and we need to wrap agility into how we're monitoring so you have correlation back to what the application should be doing for when it was in the production place. Make sense? Totally, so again, riffing on, we talked about Donatelli and his team about software-defined networking, software-defined right. servers, and storage, that's awesome, right? That's great at the infrastructure level, and then when you get to big data, now I have apps that are going to run on that, so now I have a development challenge, right. the DevOps conversation, which we've talked about in the past. So I'm building apps, and I don't want to have to deal with the virtualization stuff. I need to monitor that, I need to monitor the infrastructure. How does a developer look underneath the covers to make sure everything's kind of in proper position, how to handle the configuration and all, all the automation? No, Can you this, share that? This is a great topic for discussion. So we spent a lot of our time talking about the operations perspective. Let's back into the life cycle to answer your question and talk about the developer. Now what we're seeing in the organizations that are moving to a cloud-based world is their development structures are embracing DevOps in a big way. They're collapsing release cycles into days where it used to be months. These new release cycles require tight integration between the application development teams and the operations teams. We support that through an integration between our application lifecycle management product and our business service management product. Literally, there's a sharing of information between these two solutions, giving you real-time visibility so that you have the, the capability to know what to test for in production, and when an issue occurs, you can roll it back and correct it in real time. Okay, so I have, I'm going to try to throw a scenario at you. So, I'm oversimplifying now. CEO sees an iPad and says, I want that app for my business. And everyone goes, okay, IT, deliver it. Okay, the developer's got to get in there, build the apps, and then is the infrastructure going to support it? So take us through your vision of how HP puts that all together, because now it's complicated. It's complicated. Right? Because HP software is involved, now there's software defined on the infrastructure side. So can you just unpack that scenario? I mean, because yeah. it makes a lot of sense. That's what people want. Hey, yeah, I want that, on, I want everything on the iPad, I want no dial-in, no LAN access, I want everything turnkey. Yeah. So, and, you know what I'm talking about, right? I, I totally do. So, <laughs> okay. so mobile application projects are outnumbering the traditional computer process, I mean projects that we see in our customer base today. And the reason for that is there's a level of coolness, but more than that, it's this idea of having something always available on an always connected device with all day battery life that they're able to access key big data elements in real time. And, so security, these and, and, security. and security. So how do we make that work? Well, HP software and HP broader has the capability to deliver hardware, software, and services that blend the capabilities to make sure that those environments work together. Mobile applications are still software projects. The back end is still a server farm, which has virtualized images leveraging cloud resources in many cases. So we take our application lifecycle management solution to manage the, the creation, the definition, the deployment of those mobile applications. We use our 
quality assurance solutions to test those mobile applications, and we can do it all in an agile world. With our DevOps capability, we have the, the, the technology to take those mobile apps and deploy them dynamically into production environments and, and or into dev test So you mean basically, I want to drill on the DevOps piece, because there's two different worlds, right? You got the app developers who aren't plumbers, as we say, network guys. So they got to deal with all that stuff. What do you guys provide for them not to deal with the uh, hassles of network configuration? Uh, is it a port, is it a virtual machine, is there a hypervisor? I mean, that's kind of like foreign territory. It is, it is. So we have a technology that we call lab management automation, with automation being the key word. And the idea behind this solution is we allow you to model both your dev or test environment as well as your production environments into these reusable solutions that can allow you to deploy an application by using building block methods. So an application developer can abstract the complexities of deployment where they simply apply a model to a build and off they go. So final question, getting the one minute hook here. So obviously big data is the theme here at HP because it's everywhere. Uh, it's native as, as we were saying earlier in the cube in all aspects, uh, but particularly to, to your world, um, we had, um, um, Tom Norton on earlier from the Global Services Group, he said there isn't really one conversation around big data that he's involved in that doesn't touch mobile, right? So mobile apps are very relevant and it's cool, but people need to have these apps. So is there a product specifically that you guys built for the mobile developer? Well, it's funny that you say that big data is related to mobility. We actually provide a big data sorting capability for the IT professionals, specifically the CIO. In fact, I'd like to show it to you if you're okay with that. I will open my tablet. And what you're looking at is our executive scorecard. Our executive scorecard gives you the capability to digitize key performance indicators. This could range from the productivity of your team, the availability of servers, the number of virtual machines that have been deployed, and once they're set up, you get real-time actionable intelligence yeah, yeah. so that a mobile CIO has the ability to move and act. Well, I was talking to Tom about this, Tom, uh, from the services group, and that essentially revolutionizes the whole outsourcing piece. It does. Because that changes who can support things. That's true. Would you agree with that? I would totally would. Okay, Dave, you had a great question? Great Huey, I, I love it. Obviously, HP developed that. Does that come from another product, or is that native to this? This, this is an extension of our application line that supports our production environment, our application development environment, our project and portfolio management environment, yeah. and our service anywhere environment, which is our help desk Really leading edge um, um, you know, scannability. I have to ask you, Matthew, what do you make of the Splunk phenomenon? This company came out of nowhere, I mean, um, and exploded. Uh, valuation is, is enormous. Some people feel it's, it's overvalued. I'm sure others feel it's undervalued, but what do you make of that? Well, let's talk about Splunk. Splunk has come with a very specific targeted solution that was not addressed by legacy providers, and that solution was to analyze log files. Business service management now offers that capability, and unlike Splunk, we've integrated it with all of the leading edge capabilities of business service management, including end user monitoring, system level monitoring, server monitoring, resource monitoring, and we correlate all of this together. So in other words, think of it as a super, super, super set of yeah. what a Splunk would offer. But I think Splunk's specific value was how to dive into log files. And I think that what their valuation reflects is a market demand for being able to manage unknown issues. Yeah, so they did, uh, they did the world of service by calling attention to it. You guys are now getting into it, and others, right? I mean, you see other large companies jump in. So my final question for you, Matt, is um, one of more kind of an HP kind of roadmap internally, because you're on the software group, you know, we've been to a couple of your events before. Share with the folks out there um, HP software as a division, and how that contrasts with other stuff going on, because we've been talking about software and other parts of HP, and so just clarify for the folks real quick at the end this, what's going on with HP software, what is it, what, what's the bumper sticker, what's it known for, and what do you want them to walk away with regarding HP software? Well, the best way to summarize that is that we're going through a transformation in terms of IT systems. We are moving from systems of record to systems of engagement. I can't take credit for that, that's Jeffrey Moore. But the systems of engagement is placing the user as the center point. And HP software is ensuring that all of IT is bending to the needs of the user. If there's an availability issue, we solve that issue. 
If there's a quality issue, we solve that issue. If there's a portfolio issue, we solve that issue. And everything that we do is ensuring that all of this value that you see at the show adds tremendous value to that end user. It's funny, users used to have to bend to the systems. And now, thanks to mobile devices, all of IT is bending to the user. Matt Morgan awesome. with HP Software, uh, heading up the software team. You guys are doing great work. Great to see you on theCUBE. Thanks for coming on, appreciate it. We'll be right back here at theCUBE with HP Discover in Frankfurt, Germany, right for this short break. <laughs>